Hi, it's Vicky here and welcome to the last day of my fun week featuring Penny Black. Today I will be using this uh, adorable stamp set. This is called uh, Together and I am going to be using the big flower. I am using Versamark ink to stamp my flower because I plan to do some uh, embossing. Now I am going to emboss this uh, image using uh, black uh, embossing powder. But uh, you need to uh, have in mind that uh, doing black embossing on white cardstock can be very tricky because all those little particles of the embossing powder stick just stick everywhere. So it's a, a good idea to have a soft brush close by if you need to clean up uh, some areas like I am doing here and also you should remember to use your embossing paddy that removes static electricity from your paper and it will help your embossing powder to stick only where it's supposed to. Now I am using my scissors to cut out the inside of that uh, flower and uh, that was uh, kind of tricky but uh, I managed to do that finally and uh, just to make sure that uh, it looked perfect I am going around the inside of this uh, circle with a black uh, marker. For coloring my image, I decided to go with my Spectrum Noir markers. These are alcohol markers and uh, I'm not doing any crazy coloring, just like always. I am just uh, going to be using two different shades of the same color for each area. So uh, I am going to be using two reds, a lighter and a darker one for the hearts, and then two different uh, yellow shades for the leaves and the stem. You will see a full list of all the supplies that I am using, including the color that I have used for coloring my image on uh, my supply list. You can find the supply list just below the video in the description area as well as on my blog. So you see that I'm not doing any crazy coloring. I just like um, doing all the coloring quickly when I'm using uh, my alcohol markers. But uh, you will see how easy it goes on uh, when you try to blend those Spectrum Noir colors. So I'm, play I'm applying first the lighter color and then with a the darker color I'm just touching at uh, the base of the leaf and blending it with my lighter color. So you can see that I'm doing shading by using just uh, two alcohol markers. I'm also going to use an orange marker for the inside of the flower. Now I needed some uh, pattern paper to cover up uh, that hole on uh, the center of my flower. So I decided to go with this basic uh, uh, pattern paper pad. This is kind of an old uh, paper pad, but uh, I will try to find out if it's still available and link you to the, to the supply list. Now, I have uh, decided to go with this uh, chevron pattern and uh, I am also using the same uh, red marker that I used for my hearts and I'm just coloring an area on a white cardstock, which I am going to uh, punch out some hearts with my heart punch. Now I am I am going to create a shaker card today but instead of adding uh, micro beads or a sequence inside that uh, window I decided to go with uh, punched hearts. I am following the steps for creating my shaker card so first I am sticking uh, a piece of acetate at the back of my window. I have also added some foam tape at the back and uh, I am going to place it on top making sure that uh, I trap those hearts inside that um, a window. For my sentiment I will be using uh, the stamp that says uh, lots of love and I am going to emboss it again with black embossing powder. And also this is when I decided that uh, my top right corner had a lot of blank space so that I decided to uh, stamp a cute little butterfly from the same stamp set. And again I am going to emboss it with black embossing powder since uh, this is how I did the whole card. Of course you can go ahead and stamp the sentiment, the butterfly and everything at the beginning when you uh, do the embossing for the flower. But I didn't know where I was going with that card at that uh, stage, so I haven't pre-planned anything. Now I'm using the, again the same uh, colors for coloring my butterfly, just adding some finishing touches with my white gel pen. My card today is going to be a top folding card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm going to add a panel that uh, has um, green stripes and on top I'm going to stick the window. So just as a finishing touch I'm adding uh, my Wing of Stella glitter pen on uh, the hearts as well as on the butterfly and the little uh, ladybug. 
And that was the card for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Here are some close-up photos of the card. And if you need more inspiration, here are two more Valentine's Day cards that I created using Penny Black products. Thank you all for watching!